Good evening. On behalf of the Commission on Presidential Debates, I am pleased to welcome you to this first presidential debate of the 1988 campaign. First, I've suggested that there are certain weapon systems which we don't need and we can't afford. Mr. Bush has been critical of me for that, but I think those are the kinds of tough choices you have to make. Hey, what's going on all you crazy YouTubers? Ryan here with not one, but two things in the mail today, which is exceptional for me considering I usually only get one thing in the mail. We got one thing coming from No Man's Land, Uncancelled Stamp Land, and one thing coming from Boston, Baston, I can't do that Beantown accent, pack the car and have it yard. Well, I tell you, this is going to be a mystery to me. I have three requests out in the Massachusetts, Boston area. And I have no idea what's in here, so we're going to go with the mystery first. Open it up, see what we get. Now this one, whatever it is, is coming relatively fast considering those Christmas stamps, the poinsettia stamp, I just got not too long ago. I got my Star Tiger pulled up here, and whatever this is, we're going to see how long it took to get this very swift success, or hopefully success, back in. Okay. Oh, wow. Very cool, very cool. This is Mr. Wow, this came back fast. Let's check Star Tiger. Four days, wow. Sent to Mississippi. You enclosed some paperwork here. Is that? Oh no, that's my that's my other success. This is Mr. James Meredith, the first African American student to attend the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss, as it's better known. Uh, wow, that's pretty cool. Definitely a big name in the civil rights movement back in the 1960s. Signed this photo for me here. That's him in the middle. Signed it up there. Then I made this custom index card with the University of Mississippi logo on there. Put first African American student to attend. The University of Mississippi. Definitely interesting story. He includes this. I'm guessing this is like Mission from God, a memoir and challenge from America. James Meredith with William. I can't read that. And just a little bit on his story. I'm guessing this is just a preview for his book. James Meredith speaks at Fulbright Luncheon. Oh, this is like about a speech of his. So that's pretty cool. Signed the photo and index card for me. Well, that's awesome. Nice historical success there coming from No Man's Land. Is there one more thing? There's something else in here. Oh, just a little sheet there. I guess he made a speech a long time ago, so that's pretty cool. All right, let me make sure I got everything. Okay, cool. So, wow, very cool historical success in four days. Now from Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. I can't do that Beantown accent. Kennedy-style accent. Uh-oh. Wow. It's the Duke. Okay, let me make sure I got everything. It is the Duke. Let's see if I can get into my contraption here that I made. This is like a a sleeve where you put your autograph photos in. I, I did this. This is before I was doing those big envelopes with the cardboard. This didn't take that long either. This came in... Let's see. Check Star Tiger. This came in... 11 days. I can't, I don't have my scissors. Dang it. Can't open my own contraption. Well, it's coming. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. I got it. Alright, the Duke. Mike Dukakis ran for president in 1988 against Bush Sr. I made that. I'm with the Duke Dukakis uh, Vinson on the back there. He signed. This is a picture of when he was on Time Magazine. The Duke, can he unite the Democrats? And then that's him speaking. Signed right there. Well, that is pretty cool to hear back so quickly from the, well, all these people. Mr. James Meredith, Mr. Mike Dukakis was also the governor of Minnesota, uh, not Minnesota, Massachusetts. Don't know if I mentioned that. All right, so two for two. That's always nice for me. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.